Hey guys, what's up and welcome to this new video series on the channel. Today we are not inside Sketch, but we will look at the steps that you have to do and that you have to take after working and finishing a design in Sketch. Usually you want to hand it over to your developer or product manager or client and it can sometimes be actually pretty hard to hand off design in a good way so that the other parties can look at it, can work on it, add notes, add feedback or just grab whatever they need from the design. And then there is a company called Zeppelin who really try to focus on this particular problem. And Zeppelin is the product that we will look at for the next couple of videos because it's really tackling the problem of uh, giving a good design handoff. It's enabling developers to get color codes, find spacings, export assets, and it's also enabling, for example, product managers and clients to add notes and add feedback and to just give you a better collaboration between you and your design and basically the people who have to work with uh, after you finished it. Many big companies use Zeppelin on a daily basis and I'm using it actually in my daily job also. And I'm happy to focus on this particular tool because it's really enhancing my design workflow and the, the speed and the collaboration with the people that are related to a certain project. It's pretty cool because there is a sketch plugin so you can take your designs and upload them directly into Zeppelin. But not only that, you can also use uh, Adobe XD, Adobe Photoshop, Figma and I think a couple more programs. So it's pretty open and you can use whatever tool you like, but it will help you to hand off your designs. Looking at the pricing, we also see that there is a free plan right here. So you can just test it out for free. You can actually uh, use it forever um, because it's not like time limited, but limited to one project. So if you want to try it out, if you have a single project currently running and you want to uh, have a look at the features of Zeppelin, go and get the free startup plan. Uh, and then they also have plans for businesses, for smaller companies and huge organizations. So there's a plan for everybody. But the most important thing here, here is that uh, you can try it for free and not just try it, but actually use it. You can use all the features, every single part of it in the free plan. And it's not limited. Um, it's not time limited. It's just limited uh, like to project. So looking at the people who will also use Zeppelin, those can be developers as I already said and uh, Zeppelin is giving us a cool overview to see what kind of developer like an iOS developer or an Android developer will get from using Zeppelin. So for example the Android developer will be able to as I already mentioned get spacings, color information, text styles, assets and so on. It's pretty amazing. Uh, if you're a web developer we can see that you can export your CSS stuff directly from Zeppelin. It makes many things so much easier and the design and developer collaboration is just enhanced in such a big way. But not just that, you can also create design systems, style guides and much more and this will be the topics that we will cover in this video series. So I hope you are pumped about that. This is just a small introduction video for the series. I'm really happy to get this starting and I know that you are excited about it as well. Maybe you're already using Zeppelin, maybe not. We will see. Let me know down in the comment section if you have tried it yet and what you thought about it. Because I think it's a great tool and I'm happy to already use it uh, on a daily basis for I think more than a year now. So I'm pretty used to the app and I'm happy that we are now able to start a video series about it. So thanks guys for watching. Thanks for tuning in and we see us in the next one. Bye.